Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Caleb. And I'm Jay. And this is index number seven. I did my research this time, not because I forgot right before we started, but because I wanted to. <laughs> uh, so, sticking with the, uh, the schedule that we kind of wanted for these, what is releasing this week, Jay? So, for Tuesday, we have a BTS V uh, reaction for Singularity. Uh, and it may or may not be a great song. Who knows? <laughs> uh, and then Thursday, we have uh, Eminem Stan, if I remember correctly. Yep. It's not hard to forget, or not hard to remember. <laughs> I don't... Fuck. <laughs> so, in other yeah. news... No, I'm just kidding. This isn't a new show. In other news... Yeah. <laughs> um, past that, my album released last week. Yes, yeah, And... Same. This is definitely not being recorded before, so it was really good when it came out. Um, I'm definitely not out of town right now, and <laughs> definitely not partying and That's about it. as much as possible. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> it's I, this kind of sucks. This this is going to suck because we just recorded a podcast two days ago. Not much has happened since then. And uh, we got to figure out what to talk about. I know, I know one thing that you had put in was that it is the one year today, right? Today is the one year. Yes. So today is the one year anniversary of Game of Thrones ending. The finale. The finale. Yeah. Finale. And uh, hopefully by this time, all of you fake fans are over how bad the last episode was or whatever, because it was a great episode. So. (laughs) um i don't i'm gonna say i say it all the time i'm gonna make sure it's here documented on film you idiots don't understand that things end sometimes and just because you don't want them to end doesn't mean it's bad (laughs) so that's my two cents on the subject actually two more cents yeah it was a little rushed like i did that (laughs) but like but like it was a good story like everything fell into place as it was supposed to obviously spoiler alert Daenerys was gonna kill everybody it was hinted at for the last three to four seasons um it was hint- it was so hinted at anyone that she was anyone crazy that didn't see it coming and what's up it was hinted at from the beginning that she was crazy oh yeah for sure but it's like anyone who didn't see that unfolding definitely failed english one two three and four in high school (laughs) like they were too busy reading dr seuss when they were 15 bro (laughs) no definitely you gotta work on your observation skills if you didn't notice that at least a few seasons in (laughs) at least a few seasons in straight up yeah i mean without jor Dude, without Jorah there, would have killed everybody. And as soon as he died, guess what she did? <laughs> killed everybody. It's like it was meant to happen. <laughs> I love Game of Thrones, dude. No. I could honestly, I could I could rant about it forever. Which honestly, at this point, maybe we just release this podcast in one because I'm ready to talk about it the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy, dude. The, um... <sighs> I don't know, dude. I've actually like, I've watched that show like so many damn times, four or five times, which is a lot. Like, considering I know it's like until you four or five, someone's out there like I've watched it ten times, and then they push up their glasses. I'm wearing glasses right now, so they go, I can't believe you only said said four, and I'm just like chill, dude. I fuck sometimes, you know, like. <laughs> Definitely not Rebecca, though. Don't talk about her. <laughs> We're not. Fuck that bitch. Um, <laughs> now, besides the one year of anniversary of Game of Thrones, for some reason today is the anniversary for many different things. For some reason, like what I else s- you got? Uh, I saw uh, Star Wars the the episode three. I think it was. Uh, episode three, there was, uh, what was the other one? 
it was another random show or something like that that had like did you say witcher earlier or was it something else uh five years ago uh was when witcher 3 the game was released that's what it was that's crazy so like today is the anniversary day for so many things or it's just when Twitter decided to post about the anniversaries, which is definitely a better possibility. That's that's actually a huge possibility. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, this just passed. Do you think anyone will notice? No? All right. Post it. No one actually looks at those dates. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's funny too, because like, what's today? Today's the 19th, so in three days, when, the al- when my album comes out officially as of recording this um Mm -hmm. that will be three years since i started um doing music in general like actually producing like yeah making music writing um remixing my first ever song was a remix to a kendrick lamar track called money trees Mm -hmm. um i chopped it up and added like just stupid fucking what what are they called like tags and stuff (laughs) <laughs> um and then wrote my own verses over it and that was the start of everything Fair it's kind enough. of a cool thing maze important and that's all i have to say about that <laughs> <laughs> June is important. But like back but like back to game of thrones though <laughs> <laughs> john shouldn't be stuck at the wall bro to be fair he's not well, yeah, that's true. He went past the wall. He went past the wall. He just like, no, nope. let me just go chill up, up way north. King in the north, bro. King in the up, up north. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I always king of the north. Always. Granted, oh. I don't see why. I don't see why they had to decided to put him there. Especially since everyone that wanted him there left. Yeah, they straight up just, they went south. <laughs> and the the wall is within a completely different kingdom now because the north has detached itself from the rest of the kingdom. Well, but at the same time, the wall isn't really governed by any kingdom. The wall isn't. So it's but like still, it's, I mean, it kind of operates like right. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say like above the. Yes, the it, kingdoms. It does, but, but like, it's in another person's kingdom. So, why does it matter if he's actually there or not? Yeah. True. He could just go True. back to Winterfell and chill. <laughs> I think. I think we don't understand though that like. Like, Sansa is going to rule the north, right? Yeah. And then Jon is going to rule the far north. Mm Mm-hmm. And then Bran is going to rule... Everything else. The rest. (laughs) Westeros. And then now... Arya is going... West. And so she'll probably... Somehow end up killing everybody there and taking over that place. (laughs) And, like, really, if you think about it... The world is is ran by Starks. It's like the Avengers, bro. <laughs> and that's like a one joke. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it is pretty funny how like all the Starks got some type of like, Oh, Hey, I'm King of this place. They got full freedom after everything. <laughs> yeah. No joke. Like in all seriousness, they're the ones that survived. That's crazy to me. It was rushed a little bit that last season. <laughs> yeah, that it was definitely rushed. There's a couple inconsistencies, I will admit. Like what? Where the fuck did the army come from? Well, yeah, that's that's a good point. Did wasn't it just completely and utterly slaughtered during to the an extent, invasion? Yeah. Like it. It, it they made it look in the episode where the White Walkers attacked Winterfell. It made it look mm-hmm. like there was literally maybe ten to fifteen people left, and that was it. Well, didn't they take? They only took a few of the forces to Winterfell. The rest of them were at Dragonstone, no. No, I'm pretty sure all of the forces were there. 
as possible. I don't remember. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that like. gives me another reason to rewatch it, honestly. I gotta go. Gotta catch up and see that part again to make sure. <laughs> At least that, that's five. how it was portrayed. I, I could be completely wrong and but like well, also, but then even after that even after that, in the battle in King's Landing, like everyone got fucking destroyed there. And then there's another huge army <laughs> In the last episode. Yeah, no, it was just like, eh, a little bit of consist- inconsistency. Because it was both the Unsullied and then the North had an army, too. And I was like, wait, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Weren't they just new White Walker? I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, no, there I get that. There wasn't an explanation as to why they were still there. At least um, easily noticeable explanation yeah like sure they made it just like that was only part of the force that the force was like somewhere else completely Mm -hmm. but if that was the case why weren't they there as well um i'll tell you why they were respawned by the revitalizing energy of starbucks coffee that daenerys brought on set (laughs) (laughs) That's not a sponsor. That darn <laughs> Starbucks coffee. Reviving people. So good. Honestly, if I were dead, I'd probably wake up to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, caffeine fucks me up, though, dude. A few hundred years in the future when Starbucks is, like, controls <laughs> the world. Starbucks would actually kill me thinking about it. <laughs> Messes me up. Um... That was that was our big topic to talk about on that, this episode. That was our big topic to talk about. That was one of our only topics to talk about. Honestly. You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was our only topic to talk about this episode. <laughs> and that's why we are 14 minutes in and now we're scrambling and I don't I don't know what else to talk about. Dude, okay, let's talk about this actually. Shoot. <laughs> I brought it up right before, but like I asked you if you had done gifted and talented testing when you were in elementary school. And I need to know from people watching if oh, they yeah. did that at all. Because I definitely did. And, like, looking back on it, I am I think it was, like, it was, like, a test to figure out if I was, like, on the spectrum at all. And I'm pretty sure I passed it. But, like, <laughs> if that's the case, I don't... I don't know what's going on, you know? Yeah, I never took those. They're, they're, that was not a thing in my elementary. Granted, I was in a really shitty elementary. Mm-hmm. Like, r- hole-in-the-wall type of deal. Yeah. But still, like, there was there was no... There wasn't, a, like, any type of testing of any kind. It was like, they looked at you, and they just kind of decided, I think it was what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, like, yeah, this was, like, this was, like, it wasn't even, like, real, like, I don't know, test questions. It wasn't, like, what's fucking two times nine or something, like, stuff like that. It was, like, it was, like, given this situation, what would you do? And then, like, or it was something, like, draw a picture out of this, like, line or symbol and write like well, a just, few sentences on what it is and like stuff like that. Well, that just sounds like an IQ test, honestly. That sounds like something that would be somewhat on an IQ test, maybe just a little bit less uh childish. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I feel like I I feel like, like I don't know. I I read something about it. I think maybe on Twitter or something that someone was like, "Y'all ever Y'all ever did this? And I started thinking about it and, like, looking into it. I couldn't find any answers, though. <laughs> so that's why it's, like, it's fresh in my brain right now. But I don't know why that was a thing that I did. I remember, too, like, when my parents got the results back, they were like, so um, your current elementary school doesn't have this, like, program, but this other school in town does, and you can go to that if you want to, but, like, you don't have to. And I was like... Well, like I know people at this school, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna move. <laughs> so either A, you were stupid, or B, you were the opposite. <laughs> I think I was just a genius, dude. 
I think I was a little young genius, and the school was like, oh, we need young geniuses at our school. <laughs> and the current school I was at was like, we don't care about young geniuses. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Obviously, I chose to stay at my school because I had friends there, and uh, I had just moved to town. So it was like, I've, I'd only been there like like half a year or something like that. So, uh, but I do wonder, like, what if it was like a, like a higher level education schooling system that I could have gone to and like succeeded in and stuff? Like, where would I be now? Who knows? I mean, it could, there's so many twists and turns and choices that could have been either made better or made worse. It really, you never know. Like, True. it could have been the same thing for me. I mean, I could have been put in something maybe a better, bit better of a school, uh, maybe even a private school, and I probably may, may have, like, been a fucking engineer or something. Yeah, but you're just kind of dumb, though, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> my only... I'm my just only, fucking... My only <laughs> calling is music. <laughs> Damn, that's bars, dude. Put that in a song. <laughs> Dude, it feels like my calling now is to Only? answer to a bunch of fucking idiots at work. <laughs> but that's just me. Oh, Lord. That it's mean, just annoying, not, bro. You're not wrong. I'm like, I'm ready to Dude, go act. on this this trip and just forget about everything. Straight up typing that out right now. <laughs> Wait, what are you typing out? <laughs> Only calling is music. Oh, no. It'll work well for you. <laughs> nah, I'm about I'm about ready to kind of quit though. Tbh. <laughs> oh man, it's getting tiring. It's getting rough. It's just, man. and it's like I don't I don't want to complain obviously on like camera or anything like to our to our nice viewers that love to watch our videos. But like, if you guys have a job that you like, make sure you keep it. And, like, <laughs> work work for yourself. And do what you love always. I try to preach that all the time, either in my music or, like, just now. Like, just do what you fucking love to do. Well, once you're not doing it, it sucks, man. Well, that's what our whole shtick is about for this. We're yeah. trying to make it to where we can do what we love to do, and we're trying to bring other people in to do the same. Yep. I mean... Yeah, I, it's, weird. it's weird where we started, because, like, Index was just... Originally, I Everything. think one of our first ideas was, well, one of our first ideas was to make a, essentially an all-encompassing, um, like, community of creatives that people that make music or art or, I mean, yeah, basically that. Yeah. Content, you know, just everything like that. Music, and, uh, art, writing, um, hell, we even had gaming in there, oddly enough. But yeah, well, how could we not add gaming? <laughs> it's all we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's all we talk about still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, that was, like, our first thing was just an all-encompassing, like, community. And we still, for the most part, hit up gamers, oddly enough, hilariously yeah. enough. Yeah. I, I still, like, obviously, I think we still want to do that. Oh, well, yeah. We still want to do that's that. But like, that's, like, such... I think we had our long-term goal first, you know? Yes. We had the long-term, and we did not have a short-term of any kind. And I hell, no idea what to do. Still kind of wondering <laughs> what our short-term goal is right now. <laughs> Where's... I mean... <laughs> And build ourselves before we can build anyone else, you know? <laughs> true, true. We're just using you. No. Um, <laughs> no, dude. Okay. Also, it's been crazy to see the growth on YouTube so far. Like, we started posting the podcast first. Yes. And those would get, like, three views. And, like... One of them was me, usually. <laughs> yeah. And then, so we started doing the reaction stuff. BTS came out. Um, that one just popped off, dude. The Fucking first BTS exploded. video that we did. And uh, it's at 4.4 thousand right now. Yeah. Which is nothing near 
what I expected it to do or just any of our videos to do ever, you know? <laughs> yeah, no joke. I've, I haven't had any videos through my different little experiences with YouTube. I've never had any of them get that high. It's crazy. And like, like, uh, dude, I, I can't even, I can't even put into words. I don't know. It's just like, I never expected that. Um, but then like we put the next video out, it doesn't do as well because obviously the the bts fans are going to go hard for the people that they they love to listen to and they um they just like you know bts army um, is another thing completely than it, almost any other fan base yeah. yeah it's respectable dude it's pretty cool to see that yeah um but like i have noticed now i think we just passed 140 subscribers today like as we're recording this mm -hmm. um yes sir that's within a few weeks what, three three weeks yeah maybe four maybe yeah maybe four but four or five like that's that's crazy that's crazy to me i have my own youtube channel that has i think it just passed 50 today <laughs> and i've had that for about a year <laughs> I had one on so. and off for a while, and it got up to, like, I'd say 700. That's pretty good. But, like, that was, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't all, like, genuinely earned. Because I think, yeah. I think we had, uh, I think it was my friend's brother who mm -hmm. decided for a birthday present to gift us some, like, sub for sub time or something. Interesting. So we got like easily <laughs> at least half those subs from just sub for subs. Jeez, that's crazy to me, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it, it's definitely not what we wanted or anything like that. It's just, oh, hey, here's yeah. a birthday present. Okay, we're yeah, already signed nice up. <laughs> like, it's nice to be like organic, you know? Like, oh, yeah. And, that, and that's what I've noticed, too, is like we've had like multiple recurring viewers um, that always comment, that always like give suggestions to say hi or whatever. Oh, it's yeah. really cool. Um, it's like it, it feels good to start building that community that we've always talked about. It is, and, uh, yeah, it is and it's nice. translating to other videos now too. Like it's not just the BTS ones. Obviously, those are doing the best on our channel <laughs> currently, but it's now translating. Like instead of the podcast getting three, it's now getting like twenty views and like people from the other videos are starting to come to those and like it's really cool to see the transition um as like i i would ask like if you're watching this like how did you find us um but i know the answer is probably going to be the bts videos the reaction videos <laughs> so um yeah i don't know it's really cool I, I really i've really been enjoying this experience and i'm just trying to I'm hoping we keep going at the rate that we're going at least and maybe add more if we can. I know we've, we've talked about a few ideas that we kind of want to try, I think. Yeah, we definitely want to add more. We're just trying to figure out what to add more because we still we want to do something cool and fun, something that might be a little still be relatively easy to record with uh for some of us general lack of equipment for some of that yeah. stuff. Like, I mean, hell, I'm using webcam. He's recording with his phone. I mean, we're not doing anything fancy on the on the video side. Um, yeah. But we definitely want to keep adding more stuff and keep make, doing something. Uh, yeah, we can do stuff that a lot of other YouTubers do. But we also really, really want to come up with some new stuff to do and have something like I don't know, creative, something... Just our own. Yeah, our own. We want to have some stuff like that. And uh, yeah. we're, we're and doing like, some brainstorming, but we're still kind of just trying to fit uh, figure it out. Yeah. And that's, that's the hard part, too, is because, like, once-in-a-lifetime ideas don't come often. <laughs> no, no, they don't. So it's like, I feel like with the current scope of YouTube, how many people are using it, how many people are creating for it, like, there's not a lot of ideas, I feel like, that that, that are left to come up with. 
but obviously I'm saying that because I don't have any new ideas. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like maybe there maybe there is a lot and just no one's thought of it yet, or like I don't know. Yeah, it's just, hard. It's hard to tell the potential. I think we just need to play with it, honestly. Just start playing yeah. with different ideas and see how they do. And of course, viewers, if you want to make suggestions, we are a hundred percent open. Sometimes you guys are way smarter than we are. And we'd love to hear what you have to say about it. I mean, I was gifted and talented, but, like, you're probably smarter, so. <laughs> so let us yeah. know if you guys have any ideas of things we could do um, possibly different than just reaction and podcast videos. We want to do something something new, something different than just more reactions. Yeah, because eventually, at the eventually the day, we'll be making, like, music videos and stuff. That's the hope for, yeah. like, anyone that we decide to partner up with in that scene. Including ourselves. Including ourselves, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and Jesus Christ. Yep. <laughs> in the end of the day, that's what we're here to be. We're here to be a music company slash media company providing entertainment and music and such and trying to bring other people with us along for the ride, honestly. Yeah, that's that's the the root of what we want with this. I want to do. I feel like unbox. Like I kind of brought it up on our Snapchats, but I feel like, I feel like unboxing videos would be really fun to do. But what do we do them for? You know, it's like yeah. we already have the <laughs> equipment that we're going to be using, and like we can't um, we can't do unboxings for those because we need them to do to do the unboxing <laughs> it's, it's like just stupid shit like that <laughs> yeah well, uh, well, what do you unbox after you have basically all your equipment besides maybe yeah. a camera but you probably want the camera to do the unboxing for the camera and it's like okay well uh <laughs> i mean i could probably do an unboxing but like uh, i don't know i feel like it, it at this point it needs to be new stuff, like new tech or new, I don't know. Yeah, it needs to be new like stuff. Because you can't just do, you can't just get like a webcam online and be like, let's unbox this. Because it's like everyone's already seen that shit. <laughs> yeah, and you don't want to spend $200 for a webcam at the moment. Yeah. Would not be fun. I yeah. don't know. I might do some light light vlogging on my trip. My, oh, actually, I do, actually, no, I do want to film something, but it might be for my channel or my Instagram. I don't know. Trader. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's like, it's going to be, it's going to be about um, my adventure in marketing across the U.S. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I'm, know if we want to be I'm, affiliated with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 100% joking. Do what you need to do. But yeah, no, we definitely need to come up with some new stuff. We're definitely working (laughs) on it. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, What have you been listening to lately on your own? Uh, Outside of work stuff. Well, BTS. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) It's the only answer I expected, TBH. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yes, of course, BTS, but... Um, besides that and work, work, I was, I was enjoying the album. I did the review on last week, like a house you did, on fire. You did Ale- or asking Alexandria, right? Yeah. Uh, I listened to that. I was like, this is a, these are awesome. I want to go jam out on my <laughs> drum set now. Like, yeah, dude. What? And In- like indie and punk rock music is, is so good. Oh like, yeah. Like. Even if you're not super into it, you could still vibe. I feel like. No, I lo- I I used to listen to a whole lot of pop or uh, punk rock and just regular hard rock stuff a lot. Yeah. So, Should I scratch that itch then? <laughs> oh, it scratched a night. It was scratched a good itch. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, besides that, obviously, I've been listening to some Lindsey Sterling. Uh, listen to some star set when I first got my new speakers. It was nice. just absolutely amazing on them. <laughs> I'm sure they just filled your room, dude, with sound. Oh yes, yes. And then Sick. just I fucking 
I, I love I love studio monitors, dude. They just make everything better. A hundred percent. I've been noticing things in songs I've listened to like a million times that mm-hmm. I've never noticed before. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. So it's always it's always like the really like light stuff that you hear too. Yeah, it's always the background stuff. It's like, wait a minute, that was in the background. What? Yeah, and it just oh my god, it opens up a brand. It's like a whole new listening experience. It's a whole new world. <laughs> That's why, like, dude, some people they'll get like super heavy into uh, like audio <laughs> audio file headphones that are just like you would not believe the sound that oh, you get course, from those. Yeah. Those but I'm talking crazy. thousands of dollars spent. Like, yeah, I don't got that yet. <laughs> it's crazy. So you could, yeah, you could spend so much money on on sound. Yeah. Uh, besides that, um, I randomly listen to random bits of new music on YouTube. Nothing in specific, mm-hmm. but I just kind of randomly listen. So nice. Yeah, that mostly been what I've been listening to, honestly. That's Not sick. much crazy. Just the use for you. For the most part. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah. What, what about I've, you? I, I've been listening to a lot of Panic. I always listen to Panic at the Disco, but like it comes in waves to where like I'll listen to them like every second, every day. And then like I won't listen to them for like a week or two. And then it'll come back even harder, you know? (laughs) And uh, I'm in the middle of that, like, it's always on right now, so. Ah, okay. That's been nice. And now that I'm done with my my music, I don't have to listen to that every single fucking day. That's 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 a thing that you don't realize when you're making music to put out to people is like how much you listen to it yeah you, how you, much you're forced to listen to you, it you, you almost get tired of your own music a little bit and you have to take a break from listening to it yeah i have noticed like anytime like that happens i'll like i'll not listen to it for like a week week like after it comes out and then like i'll come back to it and i'm like damn i really knew what i was doing <laughs> 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 like this shit's good um but no, like I don't know. I listen to I listen to a lot. I'll just put on like a rap playlist and see what's new, see what's old, see what's still trending. Like, um, don't you have like this absolutely massive playlist on Spotify? I had, so I had a playlist that was all of my favorite artists. Like I think like my top. 10 listen to artists i wouldn't say favorite artists but top 10 listen to um that just had all of their each of their discographies in the playlist and it was like it was like three days long i think yeah something something really stupid (laughs) but then i was like i just keep listening to the same stuff i need to branch out into other music and like all this (laughs) and so i deleted it and was like i'm gonna make a new rap playlist that's going to involve every lyricist, like every like actual like hardcore fucking wordsmith rapper in the book. And uh, I got <laughs> I opened up a page on Wikipedia that was like listing all like rappers, essentially like billboard placing rappers and stuff like that. I got through the letter D <sighs> and. I think, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I was about to ask if Arm and Sugar's in there, but uh, if you stopped at D, you definitely did not yeah. get them. <laughs> not quite yet. It's, um... Because their solo stuff is pretty hard, too. Through the letter D, starting at 50 Cent and ending at... <laughs> oh, there's the scroll wheel. Um, Ending at... Oh, I, I finished through the letter C and started D a little bit. I lied. <laughs> So from 50 Cent to Dave East is <laughs> 1,962 songs. Holy shit. And it is a 114 hours and 41 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, that's way more than three days. Yeah, that's a, that's a big playlist. <laughs> that is an absolutely massive playlist. Basically what I was doing was like I'd pull up the list, start at the top, in alphabetical order, <laughs> I was like, oh, 50 Cent, obviously, 
great rapper go through pull like his fucking three like first three albums or so and then move on to the next one and then just keep doing that until i got to the end or until i get to the end but yeah there's a lot of good music in there i'm excited (laughs) once you actually finish Mm -hmm. it's gonna be literally like my lifetime (laughs) i'm just gonna hit play and then like lay down and that's it yeah hit play and never hit pause it will always be playing throughout the rest of your life (laughs) you may get so much time you may get to listen to every song at least once yeah it's overwhelming when i look at it to be honest (laughs) But I love it so much, and I can't wait to finish it. It'll be good. <sighs> I'm yawning way too much. On the pop side, away from rap, Dua Lipa is still the best artist. Um, Objectively. <laughs> subjectively, bro. <laughs> I knew I'd get you with that. No, she has some good songs, though. I've listened to a few of them since... Uh, Messing with all this stuff. Yeah. Well, it's like, I don't know. It's just like it's different than like what, what I'm used to listening to pop, on the pop side. So it's nice to hear. The weekend obviously is really good. Um, oh, yeah. It, it, any type of variation in pop is a welcome sight because there was definitely several years uh, of I would just say- monotone. Like it's the exact same thing. Song after song after song. Yeah, in pop I would for say like twenty fourteen to eighteen would probably be like the the years of bad pop. Yeah, I could agree. With but I know that. someone someone's gonna call me out on that. I already know them. Like, well, what about this artist? And I'll be like, fuck you. Were the Jonas Brothers around yet? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. They only came back last year. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ariana Grande is great Yeah Her new song is just okay I don't know how it made number one spot Um, yeah. What new song? It's called Stuck With You I think oh, Okay. And it has Justin Bieber It's her and Justin Bieber Which I oh, guess makes sense That That, yeah. uh, that song I kept like reading about but never actually listening. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. It's a good way to put it actually. Um <laughs> so foul. But yeah, no, that's about it. It's been a it's been a good time with music in the past month or two, I'd say. Honestly, uh, my exposure to music has become a lot wider just because of everything we've been doing. That's good. I mean, that's I don't know. I feel like I feel like people need to listen to multiple styles and multiple artists. Like you can't just be stuck on one person. Obviously, you're gonna have your favorite, but like, well, it's good. It's good to expand and just and just understand. Like, there's more out there than what you're stuck with. You know. Yeah, I love just about every style, like every genre. Hmm. Um. I do have ones that aren't as in my in my favorite but like i do love them all and i try to get a little bit into each one but i definitely yeah. wasn't getting as much as i am now into each one so that's good yeah i'm glad you're you're expanding expanding upon the expanding <laughs> hell yeah well i think we filled our quota we found shit to talk about I hate, of. I hate starting our podcast and not knowing what we're going to fucking do. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it's all good. Maybe this will get edited in time. Who knows? Um, <laughs> well, we're going to have to see, Mr. Editor. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> At least for the all podcast. Right. When does this shit come out? This comes out on Friday next week. What's, what date is that? 29th. 29th. Cool. Well, hope you guys had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. And hope you guys enjoyed the video and all of our videos this, this past week. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.
how long this time